Wow, we're carrying on to chapter uh, 21 in Joshua. Uh, um, day, 84, day 84, part 2. And uh, you, I hope you're, you didn't go away when we finished the first one. I hope you jumped right into part 2. And my husband's <coughs> adventure. And that's my turn to read. First one. Then came near the heads of the fathers of the Levites, unto Eladazar, the priest, and unto Josham, the son of Nun. No, pardon me, unto Joshua, the son of Nun, and unto the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel. And they spake unto them at Shiloh, in the land Shiloh, in the land of the Canaan, saying, The Lord commanded by his hand of Moses to give us cities to dwell in, and the suburbs thereof for our cattle. And the children of Israel gave unto the Levites out of their inheritance at the commandment of the Lord these cities and their suburbs. And the lot came out for the families of the Kahathites and the children of Aaron, the priests, which were of the Levites, and had by the lot out of the tribes of Judah, and out of the tribes of Simeon, and out of the tribes of Benjamin, thirteen cities. And the rest of the children of Kahath had by lot out of the families of the tribes of Ephraim, and out of the tribes of Dan, and out of the half-tribes of Manasseh, then ten cities. And the children of Geshon had by lot out of the families of the tribes of Ishachar, and out of the tribes of Asher, and out of the tribes of Naphtali, and out of the tri half-tribes of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. The children of Matraali, by pardon me, their families, um, had out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. And the children of Israel gave by lot unto the Levites these cities, with their suburbs, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. Verse 9. Verse 9. <coughs> For the tribes of Judah and Simeon, they allowed the following towns by name. These towns were assigned to the descendants of Aaron, who were from the Co Kohathite clans of the Levites, because the first lot fell to them. They gave them Kerath, Arba, that is Hebron, with its surrounding pasture lands in the high country of Judah. Arba was the forefather of Anak, but the field and valley just around the city they have given to Caleb, son of Jophne, as his possession. So the, to the descendants of Aaron, the priest, they gave Hebron, the city of refuge from one that accused of murder. Libna, Jatir, Estemoa, Holon, Debir, Ain, Juta, and Beshemash together with their pasture lands, nine towns from these two tribes. And from the tribe of Benjamin, they gave them Gibeon, Geba, Anathoth, and Ammon, together with their pasture lands, four towns. All the towns for the priests, the descendants of Aaron were 13, together with their pasture land. The rest of the Kohathite clan of the Levites was a lot of towns from the tribe of Ephraim, in the high country of Ephraim, they were given Shechem, a city of refuge for one accused of murder, and Gezer, Kim, Ziam, and Beth Horon, together with their pasture lands, four towns. Also from the tribe of Dan, they received Eltake, El El Gibbethon, Agilon, and Gath Ramon, together with their pasture lands, four towns. <coughs> From half the tribe of Manasseh, they received Tanakh and Gath Rimon, together with their pasture lands, two towns. All these town, ten towns, and their pasture lands were given to the rest of the Kaathite clan. You want to read 27? And unto the children of Arishon, <coughs> of the families of the Levites, out of the other half, tribe of Manasseh, they gave Galan of Bashan, and with her suburbs, uh, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Bashat 
Tirath with the suburbs of two cities, and out of the tribes of his child, Kishon and her suburbs, Deb Arath and her suburbs, Jarmuth with her suburbs, and Galanim with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal with her suburbs, Abdon with her suburbs, Halka with her suburbs, and Rahab with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee with her suburbs to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Hamath Dor with her suburbs with Karatan with her suburbs three cities. All the cities of the Gashonites, according to their families, were thirteen cities with their suburbs. Verse thirty four. Verse thirty four. Well wow. I'm gonna go and put the kettle on because my throat's really raspy now too. Okay. And I won't be able to finish reading if I can't talk. So you can read till I get back, okay? okay. The Merarite clan, the rest of the Levites, were given from the tribe of Zebulun, Jokmiam, Kerta, Demna, and Nahala, together with four pasture lands, four towns. From the tribe of Reuben, Bezer, Je Jahaz, Kadamoth, and Mephath, together with their pasture lands, four towns from the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead, the city of refuge, where one accused of murder, Mahanian, Mahan, Mahaniam, Eshbon, and Jezer, together with their pasture lands, four towns in all. All the towns allotted to the uh, Merarite clans, who were the rest of the Levites, were twelve. The towns of the Levites in the territory held by the Israelites were 48 in all, together with their pasture lands. Each of these towns had pasture lands surrounding it. This is true for all these towns. So the Lord gave Israel all the land he had sworn to give their forefathers, and they took possession of it and settled there. And the Lord gave them rest in every side, just as he had sworn to their forefathers. Not one of their enemies withstood them. The Lord handled all their enemies over to them. No one not one of all the Lord's good promises did the house of Israel to the house of Israel fail. Everyone was fulfilled. Pardon me, I didn't see that right. Well, I find it very difficult. It really doesn't mean a whole lot to me. I live here in Canada of this allotment of the territory. But I'm sure if I was one of those people right there at that time, I would be really wanting interesting and following everything through just to see what I got for an inheritance. And now we're going to turn over to Luke in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, chapter 2, verse 25. <clears throat> it says the booth, Luke 2, 25. Amen. So I read that already. Something's wrong here. Or maybe I went on ahead. Did we read about Mary visiting Elizabeth? Yeah, oh, that was in the other book, though. Okay, my mistake, because I was thinking back in Mark they talked about it, too. Talks here about the birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be Mary married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. Seems we just read this, Linda. Oh, sorry. I'm on chapter 1 here instead of chapter 2. That's better. <clears throat> Jesus presented in the tabernacle. Now that makes better sense. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise him, he was named Jesus. The name of the, the, name the angel had given him before he had been conceived. When the time of their purification according to the law of Moses had been completed, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it was written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves and two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon. He was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consultation of Israel 
and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought him in the child Jesus to be to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may dismiss your servant in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people Israel. The children's father and mother marveled, the child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a priestess, Anna, the daughter of Penel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. When Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Every year his parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was twelve years old, they went up to the feast, according to the custom. After the feast was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they returned. They traveled on for one day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me, he asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's business? I should say in my father's house. <clears throat> but they did not understand what he was saying to them. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and favor with God and man. And that's the end of the reading for today. Very good. Now I can understand Mary and Joseph losing Jesus on the way out. Because um, it was their relatives. They figured he was just with the other boys, just running along, playing, who knows what, throwing stones and everything else. I can remember my family, we had another big family that we visited back and forth. And they came and visited us and we all decided to go to the restaurant. So we all jumped in cars and headed out. Now his family, they had nine children. I had nine children, his other family had nine children. So that's a lot so of kids. So we all piled in and we headed out. And guess what? We got back from the restaurant and having a great time and there was my one brother standing there crying with grandma. We left him. <laughs> oh, poor guy, eh? I don't feel any sympathy for him. He's still alive and he's doing good. <laughs> And he's never forgotten. <laughs> and we'll never make him forget either. Yeah, they talk about it at many of the family reunions. Well, fellas and gals, I'm so glad that you take the time to join in and read God's word. <coughs> I know that the, the Lord God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, will bless you for your seeking and your searching, and you will be found, and you will know an amazing relationship with Almighty God, creator, if you keep pursuing Thank you so much for your patience with us as we stumble through. <coughs> and uh, I made my husband a nice hot lemon and ginger drink. We try to get rid of his wrath before he starts ginger. He doesn't like it, but it's good for him. And so I'd like to close with prayer. May the blessing with you. And yes, uh, a blessing on all those who seek God in, in times of crisis. Almighty God, we thank you so much for your presence. That we can come before you with prayers. And it's lifted up as a sweet incense unto your altar.